Hey guys, just here. It is Wednesday morning, like eight something. Um, if I look down, it's because I took notes. This is going to be a recap slash Pretty Little Liars talk on season four, episode three, Cat's Cradle. Um, we started off, and um, Melissa's back. Um, this is in no particular order. Um, Melissa's back, and she made some comment to Spencer while they were at like the coffee shop that. Um, you know, she may be moving to San Francisco, getting an internship and maybe going to San Francisco or London. And then she said something to Spencer, if we know what's good for ourselves, we'll get out of here before it's too late. Um, Emily tells Paige what really happened with her shoulder. Um, and then we see Arya's mom and the relationship that she has with that, that kid and he is a kid. And, um, he wants her to go to Austria with her and she struggles with that. The girls also keep failing at the phone number that they thought that the bird had given them and they can't figure it out um every time they call it just rings and rings and rings um we also see caleb back he seems to be kind of the hero in this episode um a lot of things happen with him i'll get into Ari and jake have their first date watching a black and white movie i don't know there's something off about jake and i don't know uh, mona's mia no idea where she is um she didn't go to school the day after um, when that happened with the girls when they, she almost got killed. Toby's mom, they go into Radley and try to figure out what happened with her and then they, you know, pretty much realize it was foul play. Duh, you know? <laughs> and Toby alludes to the fact that he thinks A is a girl. He said something like, it's always felt like a girl, hasn't it? Or something. Um, but he doesn't want to tell the girls that he's the one that gave the glare to A. Um, Hannah's mom is still being weird. Um, it comes to find out she told Hannah that she went to a Broadway show the last night she was there, but she got flowers, and Hannah read the card, and it said, I hope you feel better. The show wasn't that great. And we later find out, after Caleb goes to Mr. Marin, Hannah's dad, that she had come to his house asking for a large amount of money, and um, then later on, he comes back and finds Caleb and says, by the way, after our talk, I went to my office and I found that my gun is missing from my desk. So that may end up going back to him that it was his gun and everything. Also, Emily's caught by her mom taking the pills. She messes up when she's at the doctor and says she had an issue with hydrocodone. And then um, her mom is kind of rough with her outside. Someone calls family services on uh, her mom and they have to have be interviewed and they also called her father so who knows what's going to happen with that hannah goes to the police um kind of just to spy and finds a huge board with all the suspects for weldon's death which is a huge everyone's on it um her mother included that's what she was wondering about um while she's there she sees melissa shows up and she's going to talk to the new um cop and in her aunt look very suspicious they are very chummy then let's see they found the mask in the box of stuff from Allie's room that looks like Allie and that's when they decide to go to, to the guy who made it he says that you know he wants Emily's face in order to you know give them information while well, they're there of course Hannah is the sneak and um, she finds a mask that looks like Melissa which is really creepy maybe Melissa went there Figure, trying to figure out why Allie did and she had to give her face to get answers just like Emily so then we have family services gone missing Melissa towards the end Melissa asked Spencer she said something like Spencer you asked me before if something bad happened or so, if you would kind of cover for your family pretty much if you would keep a secret and then she asked the same question to spencer so it made it suspicious it's like what does she do you know and then towards the end we see a and it's always the last scene is always the creepy one and a has like an x-ray and it's emily's um shoulder and clavicle and all over in here um so i don't know what's gonna happen um I don't know who killed to Toby's mom. I really don't think it was Allie. I I'm just not sure. Maybe it was Jenna. Because um, she wanted Toby's attention. And I remember they had that weird relationship. And um, maybe she didn't like the attention that Toby was giving to his mom. Because, you know, she was sick. So maybe Jenna has an evil side to her. And I don't think we've really seen how evil she really is. Um, 
Caleb's so cute. Like, he tells Mr. Marin that he's in love with his daughter, and he's... I would be really shocked that it came to be about that he was involved with the A-team. Um, Paige, not so much, but then when Caleb and Paige were working together, I was a little suspicious. Um, the Ari, Ari's so irrelevant right now. Like, I don't give a dang about Jake. You know, where's her dad? Where's her brother? Like, I used to really love Arya, not just as a character, not with Ezra, not when she's with a boy, just her character in general, and I really am beginning to dislike her. Like, I actually like Hannah now, and I never did before. Um, Hannah's, mom, I, Hannah's mom is definitely... Something happened. I don't know if Wilden was trying to bribe her or if A was trying to bribe her to get all that money. And it's just suspicious. Like, who took the gun from his... Maybe A followed her there and then took the gun to set Mr. Marin up. I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I don't think Emily's going to be taken from her family. I would be really shocked, but I doubt she's ever going to get a scholarship now. If she does, it's kind of BS because she's had problems with drugs twice, you know? Um... That mask guy, that guy was really creepy. I don't know. <laughs> so, other than that, I mean, Melissa's back. I'm kind of glad Melissa's back because that was really important. And it was really creepy. Like, the times that we saw her in this episode. If she wasn't back, I don't think this episode would have been that good. Um, I'm not sure. When Mona said that Melissa was there, they mentioned in there that maybe Melissa only thought Garrett was in that box and not Arya. I don't think... I don't think Melissa would kill Arya. I don't know. Maybe she would. I mean, we've heard her say those bitches gotta get, you know, get get back at those bitches and all this stuff in the season finale of season three. But maybe that's not who they're talking about. Maybe she's talking about Allie and whoever. Um, Cece and whatever. So, I'm not sure. I, I There's no answers. Um, this... It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If you watch Pretty Little Liars, it's like you're glutton for your own punishment because there's always more questions and you think you know and then it just flips on you and you're like, I never really knew and I don't know. So, Melissa, definitely sketch. Jenna, definitely sketch. Mona, I don't know if to trust her and where is she? Paige, I don't trust her. Caleb, I'm on the fence. Ashley's mom definitely did something. Um... And then, um, who am I forgetting? The Toby thing, I th honestly, it sounds really insensitive, but who cares? I feel like there's nothing else that they have Toby doing. Why is he even in these episodes, okay? Maybe it's going to come around, like, whoever killed her, you know, I don't know. It's not really relevant to me. I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm just a bitch, but. <laughs> so, that is Catch Cradles recap slash Pretty Little Liars talk. Um, if you guys have anything to say about this episode, just comment below. I'd love to chat back and forth. Happy reading, and I'll talk to you later.